My name is uh, Joe Malinchak. Uh, I'm an airline pilot for American. Uh, let's talk about the airplane here. This airplane is an original uh, L4J. It has a, a unique history. Uh, the fuselage was built, uh, I believe, in September 5th, 1945, and the war ended, uh, I think it was the second. Uh, of September 1945. So it's in a small group of a handful of L4s uh, that came out uh, of the factory of post-war L4. Actually, uh, the airplane was uh, sold as, uh, as original uh, J3. And then uh, oh, about 25 years ago, uh, the owner uh, pulled the covering off and found out there was an L4 fuselage underneath. So when he restored the airplane, he restored it as, a, as it uh, was meant to be as an original L4. Uh, the airplane has a uh, Continental uh, 85 in it with a stroker, and it actually has an electric starter, so I do not have to hand prop it. One of the most unique features is uh, this airplane is equipped with an uh, electric starter. It has a separate battery, uh, which is tied into the radio, so I don't have to hand prop the airplane, and also it powers the radio for uh, clear communications with uh, ATC. Uh, the other thing is the engine. It has a Continental uh, 85 stroker, which puts out a little more power. Uh, my airfield is only 2,000 feet grass with trees, and uh, the extra power really helps getting out of the, uh, the airfield. The airplane is covered in uh, Seconite and painted in a, uh, a very original uh, L4 olive drab uh, scheme. Uh, the airplane is... Uh, Historically accurate as far as the uh, paint and markings. Uh, some of the markings were added later, like the Brother Time logo. L4 basically is uh, like a standard J3, but it has the beautiful uh, greenhouse window, which makes visibility uh, perfect for the, the guys in World War II. Uh, you can see the radio in the, uh, the back there. The observer actually sat backwards. So he sat backwards and uh, there's an antenna that runs out here, and it runs through this little, little uh, tube on the top of the rudder. And it has a parachute little thing that comes out, and they could w unwind this antenna way back, and that would give them uh, good reception with the uh, ground troops. And uh, one very unique thing with this airplane in World War II, they were actually more feared than the fighters because when they saw this airplane coming, they knew that artillery was coming, they were radioing in their position, and uh, that made this airplane more feared than uh, some of the fighters. In uh, World War II, one of the guys uh, put bazookas on the uh, wing struts, and he actually took out some uh, vehicles and uh, some other things. So the airplane actually has some, uh, the, there's some L4s with actually some combat uh, history. Kind of cool. Just a, just a beautiful airplane. I'm glad to, uh, to have uh, part of this history sitting here on my field.